Man, what do you think of my base? It's my new trio design. It, uh, it's really compact here. Just come on in. Just check it out. What's going on, guys? You already know what it is. Um, have you ever been building two by two bases? They're just not very good. They're you're too easy to raid. You get raided every wipe. You don't know what to do. So, um, this is my most proud. He's an expert builder. He helped me build it. He's been playing the game. He's got 10,000 hours. You know, one of the greatest bases. So, here's the tour. We're going to do a little montage. And then um, we'll cut back to you on the build, the tutorial, everything, why it's the greatest. Um, let's get straight to it. Feeling so tall, I could give a high five to the pilot. Yeah, family tight, I keep small circle like island. Whoa, inbox full of contracts, I sign with a stylist. So just coming in here, um, this, is a, this is a trio design base. Um, well, uh, someone's gonna have to sleep outside. Our first feature, we can see outside as a, as a, you know, see if there's any door campers going in. I wouldn't like this. I'm right here. Um, but we're just gonna walk right on in. And here's our loot rooms where we put all of our loot. Um, super spacious, super spacious. You can fit a ton of loot in here. All right, so here we go. We're going into the second part of the base. Um, just like that. And here we are. Um, take a few jumps here. But as you can see, there's tons of space. You have the TC right here. Um, there's hidden loot. So after anyone raids you, just um, pull out your hammer. Put through this. And right behind your hidden loot. Put all your goods in there. Put in your AKs and your rockets and, others and other things. Um... So, yeah, that's basically the full tour. Um, let's get to the building. Let's let's show you how to build this. All right, so as you can see, um, the resource plot cost is a very cheap. Like, this is this is as if you just started up the server and you want a new base to place down. You don't want to get raided first day of wipe. 21,000 frags. And that's really 21. That's that's only one run to Oxums. You could get that in one run to Oxums. Um, 4,000 wood. Again, that's a single Oxums run. Could do it as wood or stone. They kind of have the same durability, so it doesn't really matter. Place some storage outside. If you put a key lock on that, you don't want anyone stealing it. So, so yeah, that's basically the first part of the base. And you don't you don't need a roof because it's first day wipe. No one's no one's climbing over that. So basically, you're gonna come in here. Now you're gonna start it. You start it with um, these frames here, these garage doors. It'll be very easy. Just. Place these right around it. Our ladder hatch. Um, so, once you're done with that, it might be a vulnerable spot. Just make sure um, whenever you're coming through here, you have that door closed. So, you can't quite like this, uh, going through. Then you just go right up. Can't quite get now to that one. one. Might be a little um, tricky, guys. Just um, fine. Just break this wall. Uh, here's our other sleeping bag. This would be your main and, bag, uh, your main tour. Um, again, right so here is another peak hole. All right, there's campers. only one way to actually get this down. So I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna show y'all that right now. All right, guys. Um, I actually couldn't get the placement for the other two walls, so we just put wall, we just put full walls there instead. I didn't get the placement right, but you know, you guys can do it. Right, well, actually, you're gonna have to, you place the TC before you place the two walls. So you can place the TC about right there. And then, um, a wall here, make sure you flip that. Um, make sure you, this wall right here, this, this one's the most important because it covers up your hidden loot. This is the most important loot. Make sure you upgrade that to armor. Most raiders, they're gonna come through this wall and then they're gonna see this and they're probably gonna stop raiding there, so. Fit in tons of room right here. Just all kinds of boxes. Rid of this box finally. You don't need to use outside loot. You have tons of room inside. You can add your third, fourth, possibly even fifth. If you have that much room outside your base. I'm not sure where you guys are building. You might build on top of a mountain. You might not be able to raid in this base. They're gonna look through here. They're gonna be like, okay. Um. Uh. They name. They. They go for foundation, because they can. You know. So they're gonna go through foundation. Alright, so just like that, they raid it straight through there. Now, then they're gonna have a good splash right here. Splash everything on the floor. Again. 
get um, right here. This will be closed, of course. Then they're gonna have to raid through here. Um, they'd have to use a ladder to get up, which that could stop a lot of raiders right there because no one really has a ladder. So then they're gonna come up and they're gonna be very confused. Like, where's the loot? They don't know where the hidden loot room is. So then they'd stop raiding, they'd go home, whatever. Little did they know there was a box right behind here with all your goodies in it that they never found. Now when you log on with your remaining sleeping bag, which was out of the raiding area, you can get your loot with a simple jump up. And then you got all your loot back. Uh, this is our train, this is what it looks like after it's done. Oh. <laughs>